Testing, testing. Okay, before we get into the meat of this video, which is an actual CGC haul, let's, um, we're gonna do two things. Uh, first off, I just got this in the mail and I was gonna wait, a, you know, however many days until a proper comic book haul, but you know what? This thing came flimsy as hell. And I got to see what's doing with this thing. So we're going to open you up uh, carefully, expeditiously. And we got to see because this thing came. I, you can tell this thing came with no like little cardboard back or anything like that. I would be surprised if this thing even had a backing board. And it doesn't. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, I paid less than $10 for this. I think I might have paid roughly $8. So, not a big deal, but still. Damn. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. It's all good. So, uh, Monster of Frankenstein, number one. And uh, the second thing I would like to do is... Hmm... We're going to do a bit of a retrospective of books that, of, of graded books that I picked up since the last CGC haul video, which was, I had to do a little bit of research. I had to dig back into the catalog of videos, and it turns out it was August of 2019, so about two and a half years ago was the last time I uh, did some CGC uh, haulage. And uh, so here are the books that I picked up that I bought here and there uh, since that time. We're starting off with Journey into Mystery, at number 84, first appearance of Jane Foster. And this is a uh, 5.0. I believe I paid $600 for this uh, back in 2019. This was definitely an excellent purchase. I was all over it when I saw it. So yeah, five a 5.0 5 for $600 about two years ago. Yeah, beautiful looking book. Beautiful book. So yeah, we got that. Uh, here's a book that I bought very recently. Actually, no, I didn't even buy this book. This is a book that I actually submitted a year ago. And this is uh, Batman Beyond number one. And uh, this one, um, this one, a buddy of mine, he was going to be submitting books. And he was just like, hey, are there any books that you'd like to submit? And I'm like, well, I do have this Batman Beyond number one. It looks decent, you know. And... <clears throat> But I, I didn't think to submit any more books, really. It was just this one. And uh, I submitted it at the beginning of 2021. And I believe it was mid-summer is when I got this back. And it came back in 9.8. So I, definitely worth the wait as far as I'm concerned. And this is a book that I've had in my collection for a very long time. I don't even remember what the hell I paid for it. I know I, pay, I, know I paid probably maybe... 10 bucks <laughs> definitely less than 20 but yeah came back at a 9.8 very happy about that that's what kind of made me submit more this go round all right what's next what's next i don't feel like taking it out of the bag so we have wolverine number 20 from uh 2004 i like this book a lot this is i believe a one in 60 variant and this is the um kind of the uh, brown costume brown costume cover i love this cover but what i really like about it it's the first appearance of tami shishido aka gorgon i believe i paid 130 for this and this is a book, I don't know, I just, I really, really like this book for the long term. So, and, and it has a first appearance of a mutant character in it. So, yeah, 1 in 60 variant, um, a 9.8, bought it for 130. Um, why not? Why not? I like this book. All right, what's next? What's next? 
Daredevil 111. This is a book that I picked up recently. Uh, I want to say I bought this and I think a couple other books for like some for a certain amount. Honestly, I forget. But I sold uh, I, I sold a couple. I sold those other books off to basically absorb the cost of this. And I think I might have paid like seventy dollars after everything. So, uh, first appearance of Lady Bullseye, and I know um, the person that submitted this. They don't. Ha they don't get their books uh, pressed. You say, "Oh, how how why, how do people not get their books pressed?" Carter? There are people that just submit books. <laughs> there are people that do that. And uh, this was a nine six. So I don't know. It might be worth cracking out. I, there might be some pressable defects here i don't know i don't know i don't know it might be worth uh cracking out to see if you can get a bump to a nine eight but yeah i like this book a lot and this is a very clean copy i do have a raw copy kicking around but the thing i don't know for some reason there's like a lot of like just black black marks and black spots on the um on the raw copy that i have but so this one is really clean all right, what's next? Uh, Department of Truth. Department of Truth, number one. The one in 100 variant. Uh, this one was... I think I paid like $100 for this. Graded. I was like, ooh, I'm all over that. <laughs> I am all over that price. That price was amazing. Especially for this one in one hundred, so yeah, and it was already graded at a nine six. Shit, all over it, player, all over it. All right, what's next? Immortal Hulk number two. This is the, I believe, uh, what is this? Fifth print version. I believe one in twenty five or whatever. I don't. I forget anymore. I forget, but. I believe I put now this is a book that I had never shown before and this was a something I bought for I think like around $125 I believe shipped something to that effect I'm not sure why I bought it but I did I, I don't know maybe the price was right enough I don't know who knows and last but not least, I bel I forget how much I paid for this. Uh, it was less, I want to say around $80, I think. Spirits of Vengeance number one. This is a 1 in 50 variant at a graded 9.6. All right, so that's the uh, retrospective of books that I've picked up since my last See of graded books since my last CGC haul. So let's get into the stuff that came back very recently, just a few days ago. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, what are we starting off with? We're starting starting off with Amazing Spider-Man number nine, first appearance of Electro. Uh, this is a book that I bought, man, a long time ago. I don't even remember what the hell I paid for it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can check the archives, the uh, the Mercenot archives, and see. But yeah, let's get let's get closer. All right. Uh, what, what what are we seeing? What are we seeing? What is what do people think? What do people think here? Uh, let's look at the back. I would say the back has the most issues on it. So you can see, I tried to press that out as best as I could. You see sun shading, which uh, is a big deal, I, I guess. Yeah, some more. But I mean, overall, this is a solid book. This is a really solid book. I couldn't wait to get this thing graded. And it came back at a 6.5. Came back at a 6.5. You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So cream to off-white pages. All right. What's next? What's next? 
we're gonna do some more amazing spider-man we're gonna do some more maiden spider man and we have the first appearance of craven first appearance of craven and what did i want to say about this hmm i don't know i don't know let's get close what does everyone think I know the lighting isn't that great, but you know, there's like a reader crease. I forget how the hell I got, how how I got this book. This was a while ago. I, it might have been at the same time that I got the what you call it. Oh, this right here is from the slab, but uh, the back is actually pretty damn clean. The back is actually pretty clean. So I, I would oh and but there's like little moisture spots on the back. Can this be cleaned up or not? What do you what say you? I think you can do like some sort of peroxide bath and get rid of that. But yeah. Uh Amazing Spider Man number fifteen, first appearance of Craven. This came back at a five. Came back at a five oh. All right, okay. All right. it's all good it's all good uh what's next what's next we're going in alphabetical order for the most part uh we have the first appearance of kang the first appearance of kang in avengers number eight. First appearance of kang avengers number eight uh, this was a book that I remember buying back in 2012, so about 10 years ago. I believe I paid $100 for this. And uh, this was another book that I couldn't wait to get graded after... Um... Actually, no, I could wait to get it graded, but then after the Loki series, I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and submit this thing. Because I had it up on eBay Raw for a certain amount and i'm just like you know what let's go ahead let's just let's let's stop the bullshit go ahead get this thing graded and uh, you know let it go at the right time you know what i'm saying so uh let's get close on this there's like a little there's a chip a little bit little tiny chip right there the, ov the overall book is pretty damn clean it's pretty clean and the main issue to me is that you have another chip like right at the bottom right there but overall this book is damn solid it's supple you know what i'm saying look at that look at that look at that very clean very clean copy especially for because I, I remember when thanos was hot you know 2012 i figured what's the next <laughs> what's the next marvel villain that might pop and 10 years later here we are but uh avengers number eight what did this come back at it came back at a six five uh cream oh no off white to white pages off white to white page just say white pages damn damn what are you messing around for Ooh, here's the book that i really wanted to get graded but i kept pussyfooting around on this one Here's the book. Here's the book. Here's the here's the big boy book right here. All right. So we've got, or maybe I don't know. Maybe to some people it's not it's not a big boy book. I don't know. I don't know. It might not be. I don't know. I don't know. But to me it is. So and that's all that matters. Fantastic Four, number five, first appearance of Doctor Doom. First appearance, a freaking Doctor Doom. This is a book that I bought back in 20 2019 ish i believe i, I want to say about this time about three years ago i think 19 19 20 21 22 so about three years ago and i think i paid i want to say i paid 1600 for this raw and i see like the the main thing you got like a big crease right there and then you have the marvel chipping it's an overall clean book in my opinion but you had the chipping there you know 
but uh, overall, cl very clean book. Another, this is to me, this is a very supple copy. This copy is very supple. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, you see anything weird? I'm trying to go slow. Any, anything out of the ordinary with this book uh, outside of the chipping? And like kind of like a little crease right there dirty crease um this is a book that i pressed out i didn't i didn't really want to handle this book too much so i really didn't do too much i didn't i didn't do too much to it but uh fantastic four number five you can see a little 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 fraying at the edges there okay all right okay so we have fantastic four number five and what did this come back at? What did this come back at? It came back at a CGC 4.5. This came back at a 4.5. And you know what? This is going to pair very nicely with the CBCS 4.5. Would you like to compare a CGC 4.5 with a... CBCS 4.5. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with the CBCS 4.5. Now, the main issue with this book has to be in the back. The, the front of the book, I think, looks better than the front of the, the, the CBCS front. This front here looks better, and, and this is white pages, the CBCS. This front looks better than the front of the CGC copy. I think the back, the main issue with, uh, the main issue with the CBCS is the back, because you got like this tear. Ooh, are we gonna show, are we gonna show? There's a, you see that tear right there. And, oh, there's another one right here. You know what I'm saying? So I would say if this, and you can see like a little, you know, some little rips along the edge here. So I would say if this back were transported to the back of this one, I would probably have gotten a higher grade but yeah, I think it, it it all evened out. So we got, oh shoot, excuse me. Sorry for the blur, sorry for the blur. So we got a CBCS 4.5 and a CGC 4.5. Honestly, I just want to stop the video right here. <laughs> I should have ended the video here. But uh, yeah, 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 we got, we got two of them. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I might take these to my grave. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. All right, we got some more Fantastic Four books for you. We got some more Fantastic Four. Yeah, we have some more FF. <laughs> All right, what's next? What's next? Fantastic Four number 49. Fantastic Four number 49. First cover appearance of Galactus. Uh, well, first full appearance of Galactus, first cover of the Silver Surfer in Galactus. So yeah, this one is a this one is rough. This one is rough. I knew, I knew that going in. No big deal. But yeah, still you know still solid, still solid. Do 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 do. A little bit of tanning along those edges, and this one was a three. Five, three, five with cream to off-white pages. All right, so I've got this, and I've got another copy of Fantastic Four, number forty-nine. And what did I want to say about this? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's get close on this one. It's like a bit, a bit of a reader crease right there. All right, okay. It's all good, it's all good. 
it's all good let's get close all right turn this boy around turn you around do, 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 do. okay so what did this one come back at it came back at a 5.5 okay now this is a 5.5 and this first craven here is a five and i gotta be honest with you i think this one i think this 5.0 looks better than this 5.5 I don't know. It could be just me. I don't know. 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 Okay, but I do have. Um, oh, but I do have a. I've got two other copies of um, Fantastic Four number forty-eight. So those will those will pair nicely. Do I need to? Do I need to grab those? I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to, but so I've got a Fantastic Four number 48 and a 3.5 and in a 4. So those will pair nicely when the time is right. Next up, next up. So we jump from F all the way to M. We jump all the way to M with Marvel Spotlight number 5. Marvel Spotlight number five, first appearance of Ghost Rider, of course, of course. Uh, this is a book that I've, I really, really uh, wanted to get in some sort of high grade, some sort of high grade, a tiny bit of a high grade, just, just a little something. And uh, I bought this over the summer for fifteen hundred dollars. I bought this over the summer. For fifteen hundred dollars, and I pressed this out as best I could, and uh, let's see, let's see how this thing looks. How does this look to you guys? I was hoping for a seven. I was hoping for because uh, I had I have a copy that is I believe a six. And I was hoping for just like maybe either a 6.5 or a 7. You know what I'm saying? Just somewhere in those lines. And uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I did not get a 7. I did not get that. I got myself an 8.0 player. What y'all think of that? <laughs> I saw that. I saw this grade. I saw the 8.0. On this uh, Marvel Spotlight Five, I freaking, I freak, I freaking shrieked like a girl. I'm just like I was thrilled to get this grade, especially on uh, an all black cover like this. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm more than happy with this 8.0 on this uh, Marvel Spotlight Five. Very happy about that. Um, buh, 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 buh. so very happy, very happy. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on from Ghost Rider to Blade. From Ghost Rider to Blade. So we've got the not just Tomb of Dracula. We have the Tomb of Dracula number ten. And this one, uh, let's see, what we're, what's going on with this? What's going on with this? Uh, now, now, I do have, let's see, well, I'll show it later. I do have another copy kicking around. But I wanted to get this one graded and encapsulated just for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? You can't have too many slabbed Bronze Age keys, I believe. But yeah, uh, this one, I don't know. This one was weird to me. I think, I'll show you. So we got a 6.5. I don't know. I'm thinking this should have been at least a 7. But whatever, whatever. So here's the here's the 9.2 that I have. So that's the 9.2. So I guess, eh, whatever. This is the, uh, this is the backup copy. So, yeah. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. So we go from we go from Ghost Rider 
to Blade to Moon Knight. Okay, okay, okay. So we have so we have uh, Werewolf by Night number thirty two. Werewolf by Night number thirty two. Uh, let's get close on this one. Uh, what, what what are we seeing? What are we seeing? What are we seeing? I like this book is solid. This is a solid ass copy. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Um, you have some. That's, I, I could have swore those these ticks weren't there before. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, is that like a little bit of like I don't know. Like a little fading spot. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, this corner here is beautiful. Look at that corner. That is a gorgeous corner. <laughs> These corners are beautiful, though. Look at that. Beautiful corners. Very solid corners. Uh, let's take a look at the back as a whole. I uh, got a little bit of a stamp on the back. Let's see. I remember I bought this, I want to say, a couple years ago for $600. I bought this for $600. I remember that because I, I, I met a guy and uh, I bought this along with a first Zaytana. And I paid $600 for this by itself. And what did I want to say? about this one this one came back at a came back at an 8.0 now this one was weird because i i could have swore this was going to be a higher grade and here's my 8.5 copy here's an 8.5 copy and i swear i swear that this 8.0 looks better than the 8.5 you know what I'm saying this looks way better than the 8.5 you can see you know it's a little bit more chopped up and I could have swore this was gonna be a higher grade look at that you can see the difference you can you can see the difference even with the shitty quality of this camera phone I think you can see the difference and look at the and look at the corner on this 8.5, which is in the front, compared to the quality of the 8, which is behind it. Look at that. And here's the 8.0. We're going to look at the back. So here's the 8.0 and here's the 8.5. You know what I'm saying? Sharper corners and everything. Like, this book is way sharper than the 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 80 is way sharper than the 8.5 so that's just my opinion on it just my opinion on it all right we're moving on we're moving on so we got the last round of books but it's this book is still pretty damn clean though this book is still pretty damn clean and I'm glad to have it encapsulated so next we're going to go from werewolf by night to let's show Star Wars some love. Let's show Star Wars some love. So we've got The Clone Wars number one. Star Wars. The Clone Wars number one. And if you could tell, let's, are we in focus? Are we focused? Are we focused? As you can tell, this one is a newsstand. It's a newsie. It's a newsie. All right. So, oh, here I am. Do you see me? Do you see me? Hey. Do you see me? All right. Let's, uh, I mean, overall, it's a solid copy. I paid 50 cents for this book at the height of uh, people searching for this book. I found it in the 50 cent box. 
what was funny, uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't even want to rub it in because I know my buddy, he'll, he'll be watching. I don't even want to rub it in. But, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so look at the back. So we got a newsstand copy of The Clone Wars number one, and it came back at a 9 Oh, you know what? I'm happy with that for a uh more than happy with that especially when it comes to a newsstand copy that i paid 50 cents for you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm more than fine with that next all right here we go here we go here we go we have another copy so we have the direct edition we've got the direct edition of uh the clone wars number one and uh, what did I want to say about this? What did I want to say about this? Let's get closer, closer than close. I bought this uh, back in May of 2020. I paid cover price for this. And this was, again, during the height of Clone Wars mania. People were going wacky racers for this book you know what i'm saying oh yeah beautiful looking for the most part look at that and what did this book come back at what what did this come back at i now this now this and this newsstand honestly i didn't care uh, what they came back as, as long as it was like just somewhere, somewhere in like the like nine four nine six range, I would have been happy with that. Uh, didn't come back at either of those. It came back at a nine eight player. What you think of that? What you think of that? I was, I was, I I, I screamed again like a little girl. I shrieked. When I saw this grade, so I was really happy about that. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy. I'm happy with uh, this grade. So, uh, that's my haul. It's been well over 32 minutes, and we're going to cut this video off, and we should have a proper uh, comic book haul in the next few days. So, uh, I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right.